Jesus! Hey. Cool, man. Did you see that, viewers? Oh, that is incredible. That is something else. Jesus. Oh, they oh, hit each other. They hit each other. Well, that's oh. possibly the best piece of footage anyone ever captured anywhere on the internet ever of all time. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. As a viewer request for today, you guys sent me this footage. It's a very famous piece of footage from the HUD cam of an F-16. Flown by Major Tullia, his F-16 took part in Gulf War I in 1991. This is footage of a mission known as Strike Package Q, which he took part in. It's famous because in this footage, his aircraft was shot at by six medium-range Iraqi Soviet-built surface-to-air missiles, SA-6s, SA-3s, and possibly SA-2s. He evades all of them, amazingly, while maintaining high altitude. You guys have asked us to reenact this. Now, we can't really do a serious reenactment of it because SAM effectiveness is really based on range to target and aspect, neither of which we really know. So anything we could do would be purely made up. So there's not much point of doing that. So instead, we're going to do a SAM evasion challenge inspired by this event. Today, we're in an F-16. It starts at 25,000 feet and all you've got to do is get from here, 70 miles north, here, stopping you will be six SAMs. We've chosen what we consider the most dangerous of the three he was shot at, the SA-6 Kube. You can see them and you can see their range rings of about 15 miles. At this point, you're going to say, well, I'll just go around the SAMs and I've stopped you doing that. Obviously, by putting this purple box in, you will see this purple box in your HSDs in your F-16. If you go outside the box, you probably guessed I make the plane explode. So at that point, you clever guys are going to say, well, I'll just beat the SAMs by going really low. These are relatively old non-telescopic SAMs and they have a floor. We could fly below that floor where they wouldn't hit us. Well, the whole idea of these medium range Soviet SAMs is that they force you down to low altitude where you will be shot by cannon and man pads. And that was very much prevalent in Gulf War One. Targets would be defended by hundreds of cannon. You can watch the old videos of the aircraft being shot at. These various cannon had an effective altitude that they could fire up to of 10,000 feet and they would be lethal below 5,000 feet. So guys, if today you go below 10,000 feet, you will be given a warning, but you can continue. If you go below 5,000 feet, you will be destroyed and disqualified because at that point the SAM's done its job. It's forced you down low where the uh, guns and the cannon and man pads will get you. It's deliberately extremely difficult. Major Tullia dodged six missiles, but this is six SAM sites, each with about 20 missiles. So this is going to be really tough. I've had a go a couple of times because I obviously needed to make and set the mission difficulty. I've not managed it, guys, but what I did find is what I think is an ideal path. And you can see that here. You'll probably want to follow that path, so roughly memorize it. You can go wherever you want, but that's what I would personally suggest. It's just the weakest point of the SAMs, but you will be in firing range at all points. In terms of tactics, all I noticed in my playing is that you really want to keep as fast as you can. The problem is, as soon as you get shot at, you have to burn off speed by maneuvering, and that accumulates over the miles, and you end up basically falling out of the sky at 100 knots, where you become uh, chicken food. I'll give it a go first, just to show you, and I'll explain what I'm doing, just to give you guys a head start. I've not allowed my guys to even see this mission, so this is 100% fresh, just really because I want to punish them, and you probably want to see them punished, so stand by. Right, guys. Uh, the first thing I like to do, we get representation um, of the SAMs here, including the box here. I like to test how difficult the SAMs are being, and that is, I like to judge how, at what range they fire at me. So if they're in noob mode, they'll shoot at me at the max range there, which is pretty much where I am now, uh, which gives me the maximum chance of survival. If they're in smart mode, then they'll shoot when I'm much closer, where it's much harder for me to evade. So I'm just gonna try and ascertain how good they're being today. RWR is the only thing that will tell you when you're being shot at other than your Mark 1 eyeball. Uh, I think that's my lock. <laughs> I'm 100% being shot at, viewers. Right, altitude, altitude, altitude. I've got to lose some altitude to beat this missile, but I've got to stay about 5,000 feet. Visualize it, it's my best bet. Luckily, the Soviets use smoked missiles. Oh, Jesus, they're coming for me. 
turn some of their speed off. I'm aware they forced me right back, but I've got to do what I've got to do to survive, you know. All right, I think I've beaten them, so I'm going to go up to high altitude. There's no F10 map today, viewers, or there's no baddies on there, so that's not going to help me. So it's all done by my own judgment. All right. Still being fired on. Now, if I want to know where I am in relation to the box, viewers, I can see it there. I've just uh, marked it. Right, so... Jesus Christ, here we go again. Can't visualise it. Where is it? Don't know, don't know where it was. Still being fired at. Going to lose some altitude. Checking the box. Going to get to the edge of the box, obviously. In case we're new to the F-16, the beep, 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 beep means I've been fired on. I'm below 10,000 feet. Going to get to some altitude. Now, wherever possible, viewers, I want to gain altitude because I need to trade that in to get my speed back when I've been shot. So, at least that bit I do know about. Mark one eyeball looking. No visual. It's on my left. 10 o'clock. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Right. Oh, God, what do I do? Uh, go down. Where's the box? Box is good. Altitude. 11,000, 10,000. I'm reading out here. Missile's going down and up. Right, missile's off burn now, so it's kinematically beatable. So I'm going to go up with afterburner and I should be able to beat it kinematically. I can see it right there. Piss off. All right, back down. Make it turn again. Back on course. Right near to the stop it firing at me. Right, we're nearly past San Juan. <laughs> right, we need speed and energy. Speed and power. It's firing at me again. If he can fire at me, he can hit me. What about that guy? Is that guy firing at me? We tell everything by RWR. No, only one guy's firing at me. That guy's locking me, I think. Right, got to beat another missile. Right, is it off burn? It's on burn still. So I've got to do something. I've got to go down. 10, 9... Eight. Big G up. It's off burn. I can beat it kinematically now. And another one's fine in front of me. God damn it. Don't G out. Don't G out. Got to beat it. There it is. I see it. And over the top. Now there's one ahead of me that I've got to beat. And I've got to stay in my box. Well, you wanted to challenge viewers. You get a challenge. I got too slow. I'm going to get hit. There it exploded right there. Another one's firing at me. God damn it. Right, I've got to turn between the two Sams now. I got too slow. Jets in the tank. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nose down. I'm fired from left and right at the same time now. Just dodged that one. Another one coming up. Fired left, fired right. That one was exploded 100 feet away from me. Having to do some manoeuvring balance that we're keeping enough speed these are kinematic i can beat them i can see them if you look closely you can see the missiles viewers my track is good god knows what this looks like on f10 but i imagine lots of missiles coming towards me i mean now we fired at three angles three missiles in the air bouncing around the 10,000 mark I can't come off afterburner, I, I can't afford to, I'll die. Fuel, 6,000. All missiles beaten. I've got a chance to get some energy, I'm going. Four now locked onto me. All right, 20,000 feet off afterburner for the first time, pretty much since I started this. And relax. All right, viewers, now, the way I've calibrated it is it will get harder and harder as we go. The, the, they get more and more overlap. Right. Oh my god, that one's right next to me. Uh, oh no! Oh no! It's right there! Oh bollocks! Ah, oh, I lost concentration. You lose concentration for five seconds and it gets you. Did anyone spot where I died, guys? I got a feeling it was about... Call it CM59, that. basically. CM59. Alright, next! Fire! Go! You don't have to do that beginning bit where you get launched on purpose. I just did that for the viewers. You can go straight onto an decent vector. Huh. Interesting. Press the G button, your gears out for some reason. That will not help you dodge Sam's. Just a reminder of the rules and stay in the box and stay above 5,000 feet.
Uh, I'm in cheap view now, viewers, so I can see the missiles, but obviously he can't. These are what we're fighting, SA-6 coops. They're all right. Again, they're designed to force the pilot into a low altitude where something else will shoot him down. You can see it's got, this is the track radar. It's tracked him while the search searches. Oh, dear. Okay. Thing's about to happen. I've given you half a mile leeway, by the way, on the yellow, on the purple lines. So you've got half a mile, but you might as well treat it as no leeway. Well, you're doing well so far. You've not even been fired at. So you optimise yourself beautifully wherever the heck you are. If they're not firing viewers, it's because they can't kinematically make that shot. Because he's going, although he's in the ring, he's going kind of sideways. Uh, which makes the SAM less effective. But you can see him. Track radar is all over him. I was getting blasted. I was doing the same thing. I was getting blasted with this place. Well, you came into range and they started firing on you. You're saying I upset them, Simba? Yes, you did. They looked at your face and said, that's a face I want to punch. Okay, yeah, I'll get that a lot, by the way. Yeah, finally! Uh, right. Okay. One from each side. We're going to go down. <laughs> it's spiced up! <laughs> You know when you said one from each side, you meant two from each side. <laughs> yeah, feel free to talk us through it or don't, it's up to you. I'm going to try to reverse my course here and burn some uh, speed from them. Just remember, you're just going to have to go right back through it. It's so hard. Yes. Well, this is a game. Imagine doing this in real life, viewers. Oh, there were a few hundred feet from your fire. Did you just beat them by doing a friggin' loop? Maybe. He did, a, he did a split S. And Simba's right, because at some point you will go back through that pinch point, and they're not going to run out. You'll run out of fuel before they run out of Sam's. I see smoke trails, but I'm not getting a RWR, well, so I, I don't think know why okay. that is. I don't know oh, why that there is. it is. I'm that's in trouble. A, that's a fire problem. Oh, he's fired yeah. it. He survived that one, too. Well done, fire. Last minute notch. Last second notch. Right. Also, they were off burn and they were kinematically not as good, the missiles, and it just, they just wouldn't quite, quite stick with him. Well on fire. Was I getting that close? Uh, actually, they were self destructing from further away. I didn't see any of them go right by you. I would like to see you guys try and stay near 10,000 as much as possible. That was my aim. I know a lot of you are going to think, oh, I'll stay at 5,000, that won't work. It, you need to do that up and down undulation for reasons I don't really understand. Well, I think you've beaten me. To be fair, he's got farther than me. So you watch if I do it now and we get all red-faced. He's fast. He's very fast. Maybe that's how he's doing so well. I got slow because I'm an idiot. Split S. It allows them to get loads of speed in the jet while reversing direction. Run on fire. So he's going for high energy. Everything he's doing at high energy. Five to six hundred knots. This was defeated. Well done. Fire. He's looking, he's visualizing the smoke trails. Trifecta of missiles going out now. Yep, I think they have them surrounded. Hmm? Agreed. Go on fire, go on fire, go on fire. Go on fire, go on fire. Yeah! 50 feet! 50 feet! Fair play! They're all over your sexy little bod bod. He's a fireman viewer, so he, uh, he can pull these G's. He's a nice fit body, unlike me. Another one shoots right below him. <gasps> danger. Danger, Will danger. Robinson. Danger. No. He's lost focus. He's lost focus! Can he stay within half mile? Can he stay within a half mile? He can oh, 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 went out of the box. Brilliant evasion, but you've, as well as evading, you've got, you've got to keep your SA and know where you are in a box. Hard hair, guys. Right, well, you got to CN21, so that's the best so far. Well done. Yeah. It, was, it was difficult because I'm paying so much attention to that RWR, trying to keep him on my on my uh, three and nines that oh, I did. I lost my uh i got a bunch of flying because this is going to have to go quickly. Tell me when you're ready, fly. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I just realized. I wonder if what the ceiling of these. Does anyone know the ceiling of a coup? 
46,000 feet. So theoretically, you might actually be able to get an F-16 over these. That said, I don't think you've got enough run-up to do it anyway, guys. I don't think, you know, you'd have to shoot straight up, wouldn't you? Bastards attempt so far. Well, they do say speed is life. Oh, hello. And absolutely speed does dodge missiles, so speed will help. I mean, if you're not concerned about having any kind of fuel to get home. Yeah, that's... That's the thing. The guy didn't really have that option in the real guy. Had to maintain high altitude because he would have got shot by cannon and had to retain fuel. But I don't know how he did it. Missiles defeated. By a bit of yo-yoing and a bit of uh, max power. Fuel readout, just to help us fly. Uh, 6,000. 6,000, it's not too bad. Right, the sandwiching starts. I don't lie, he's beating them basically with minor corrections. Maybe this is how the real guy did it. I don't know, I've watched the footage in a while. He's beating them with minor corrections and really high speed. No, the Pro real guy got down to 0.4 mod. Oh, right. Yeah, he was like, um, beat for a lot of it. The problem is I really run out of time here. <laughs> These are your problems, fly. And you know, what now? I actually oh. need to do concrete. Yeah. The truck is there in 40 minutes. He went up to blow up. Bing! All right, you can go off okay, to work see now. see you guys. Bye. Right, Charlie November 51, that's fly. Right, Dark is giving it a go. Right, what's your tactic, Dark? Speed and power. Speed and power, I think that's actually pretty good. Well, bearing in mind that I've told you, you just need to get 70 miles. The real pilot would need to go 500 miles or whatever, but you just need to go 70, so you can be a little more aggressive than the real pilot. So, Dark, talk us through your tactic here. Where are you heading? I'm um, using the space that I was given. I did give him the space, guys. It's legal tender. 850 knots. Oh, Jesus, careful, Dark. Being very embarrassing for you if you don't even make it to the first sound. 900 knots. Well, viewers. Dark always does take it to the limit. Is it really clever or is it really stupid? I don't, really don't know. 920 knots. I mean, these are old Soviet missiles. They don't actually fly very fast. Can he just do it by outrunning the missiles? Well, like we said, you don't care about trying to get home. If multiple people do make it, then the winner will be the one that has most fuel. Just to give it an extra oh, bit of oh, sex. Oh. Well, I'm just thinking of the <laughs> fire. Yep. So it's gone fast and moderately low. That's interesting. I wonder it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I wonder why it's gone moderately low. So he's got a uh, thickness of air for him to turn. And look at the uh, missile. The missile only gets to 1,100 knots maximum. The dark is at nine, over 900 knots. And that's a real problem for a missile. Now, can he turn up there? Can he turn? He can turn. But let's not count our chicks until our eggs have hatched, or whatever they say. Still 900 knots. Remember, he doesn't have this view, so he doesn't know where these missiles are, viewers. Only I know where they are, and the boys. Oh, he's just dumped his tank. Maybe it'll uh, act as a decoy. And look at the angle this thing's having to fly at, viewers. And that's because it can't get ahead of him enough. It can't put enough lead on that shot because he's so fast. He's doing well so far. And this is where... Fly got shot. Will he fall into the same error? 10,000 feet. And this is the one that hit Fly. Can Dark manage it? Can Dark manage it? 1,000 knots. 900 knots. It's there the same speed. Oh, 50 feet behind him. It's great just paint off. Oh, Dark, that was so close. That's the hardest one yet. He's now been chased by this one, but it's a bad aspect and it will get beaten easily. Well done. Right, they're coming in thick and fast. Now, I've progressively made him harder and harder, viewers, so let's see. Great dodging. I reiterate, he doesn't know where these missiles are already, so he's all doing it by feel and experience. Seven hundred knots. Well done. Oh, I wonder. What
what his fuel is. One hundred knots. Beating another one again purely by speed. Oops, he did a thing. I see bad things. Can he stay within a half mile? Can he stay within a half mile? Oh, he stays within a half mile! Scrape that trigger zone with his friggin' turkey feathers. And it's technically legal, guys. Pretty much this is the last danger area for him. He's got a high burn rate in this moderately thick air. Oh, look at that! 10 feet behind his jet. Oh, dear. And another one, 200 feet behind his jet. His speed is now 850 knots. Well, guys, we're only four guys in, and we've basically figured out how to do it. Yeah. They're doing their last, last gasp shots on him. Can he blast through? This one's lost guidance. He notched the radar. I see. Oh, that one's lost. Well done, Dark. Right. So let's talk about why that worked, just for the viewers that you know aren't into aeronautics. So he did fast, so 900 knots pretty much all the time. Slow down now, obviously, and small amounts of dodging. So like when an SR-71 can kind of beat missiles by going really fast and just adjusting its trajectory slightly is better, it appears, than going slower and adjusting your trajectory massively, uh, which is another way of doing it, obviously. And it allowed him to get to the end. What's your fuel? 600 pounds. 600 pounds. So technically, so he used all the limits. He went to the limits of the thing in every way, the limits of the aircraft, and he burnt all of his fuel down. Now that's within the rules, so it shows how it's possible optimizing everything. Uh, any thoughts, Dark? I think the closest one was the uh, one that lost track. I saw it blow up about 50 feet in front of me. Yeah, it lost track at the last second. Uh, it had the uh, kinematics to kill you. You just happened to nope. be in a notch. If you're going fast, you're making the missile turn a lot. That's how you bleed speed. Right, sorry, uh, it is Cannonball. Off you go. Talk us through it. What's your plan? All right, mimic what succeeds, I, I guess. I would do that as well, if I were you. He's definitely on a more efficient route to where he is so far than I was. You were 15,000 at this point. He's 30,000. Yeah. I think Cannonball's at an advantage where he can dive down and maintain just the high speed without having to chink. They're not firing, but they just determined they just can't hit him. Oh, look, he's in guns. Look, yeah, he's right there. Look, they've just determined they can't hit, and they're not even going to bother. That fast. Is he just? Is he just too high at 30k? I don't know. Is the answer? Oh, he's he, also his speed. Look at his speed. He's at 970 knots ground. I'm trying hard to keep them all in kind of a notch. Oh, well, it just shows the human brain viewers. We find a way of doing things. Each run gets slightly better. He might not even get shot at. Oh, I will. <laughs> No way I'm coming around this next corner without that other sand right. hitting me. And a real F-16 can cruise at 30,000 feet, so this is still possible. <laughs> Thousand knots now. I don't know what that is. Mark 1.6 or something. Basically, it's become an SR-72. <laughs> still nothing's fired. Mark 1.64. 1.64. Well, we did say speed is life, but I really didn't think it would be this effective. 970 knots. I mean, the track creators are following him. Yeah, 1,000 knots. He's just hit 1,000 knots, Mark 1.7. Now, the faster he goes, the more uh, power his engine makes, which means the more gas he burns. So I wonder if he's even going to have the gas to do this. I mean, he's awesome. He's at a high altitude, so not more efficient up there. Took up 5,000 pounds. But he is. Yeah, he's doing Mark wow. 1.7. 5,000. Look, he's flying right over this, Sam. He's not even... Surprised they're not just having a pop, just just a because a missile would upset him. So I would fire a missile, which would force him to maneuver because you know he can't risk not getting shot. But well, he's done it, viewers. Uh, right, it just shows human ingenuity beating the system. They've homed a way of of doing this without even getting shot at, which is really impressive and it's really interesting. Uh, moving forward, guys. I mean, it's pointless if the next guys just do this each time. Is there anything else that someone wants to try now to just to do something educational for the viewers? I was going to try and keep it within the video of he came in at 24,000 feet and he never really dropped below 10,000 feet. Right, viewers, Simba is going to be our last guy. And he we, we've seen that we can beat the system by going sort of really fast and, and high, which is great. But, you know, not much fun. So Simba's now going to try it, but he's going to stick within the confines of what the real guy did. Right. All right. So, getting so painted. Now 
it's much harder when we're not going Mark 25 and 30,000 feet. This other schematic, ballistic, whatever the word is. I'm powered. Just dragged them away just like I did on my first one. 600 knots, 500 knots, and. So, very different technique here, viewers. This one probably won't fire at him again. And again, who knows? You know, it's interesting, no one's used chaff and flares in this. <sighs> they don't really do a huge amount yep. of defense. Well, he didn't use them, yeah. so I'm gonna try not to. Missile out. Straight down to the deck, just like I did. Got to burn that missile off. 600 knots. 500 knots. 400 knots. Second missile coming in. Oh, this one's coming in fast. It's kind of caught him, but when he was relatively slow. 1,000 knots. 900 knots. 800 knots. 700 knots. 600 knots. 500 knots. 400 knots. 300 knots and defeated. Woof! And they just keep coming. Alright, I gotta get back up to 10,000 feet. Missile's powered. 900 knots. First SAM site defeated. Oh, second SAM site. It's, really, it's hard viewers because you're trying to look out the left for that guy, but you're also trying to look forward at this guy. And you can only really dodge one Sam at a time. Now, is this guy going to have a pop? Oh, that one's out of ammo. What about that one? That one's out of ammo. Wow, they've fired a lot of missiles at you. All right, there we go. Right, Sim is back on track and he's managed to get up to 20,000 feet. This is pretty much where I died. Oh, look at that. That is what we call a Simba sandwich in the trade viewers. One high, one low. Nine hundred knots, eight hundred knots, seven hundred knots, six hundred knots. Oh my Jesus! Hey, Corbett, did you see that, viewers? Oh, that is incredible! That is something else. Jesus! Oh, they oh, hit each other! They hit each other! Well. That's possibly the best piece of footage anyone ever captured anywhere wow. on the internet ever of all time. That is all. Yes, I saw the same footage you did. That was amazing. <laughs> behind enemy lines was real. Mm. It really yeah. is behind That's... enemy lines. <laughs> Woo. What's going on the thumbnail anyway? Right, now this kind of flying is very taxing on the pilot viewers. And Simba being an old man, an old lethargic man, he's going to run out of energy soon. This shows why pilots have to be so friggin' fit. 500. Right behind his tail feathers. Just in time. But it's going to get harder and harder. And the tolerances are going to get lower and lower and lower. Right, I'm powered. This one's got such a good aspect on him. 400. Yeah, that's a radar notch, viewers. But is that one being notched? I'd say about 30 missiles have been fired at least so far. Being kinematically all the way to break. He's in CN41 right now. CN41. Oh, look at that. That's the trifecta, guys. That's the trifecta. By firing from three different angles, he's got a very small escape azimuth here. Wow. That was close than I would have liked. That was also close than I would have liked, but these ones are still powered. These ones are still powered. No, they're not. Oh, have they worn him down? They've worn his old man body down. Not bad. Uh, yeah, not I bad. broke too late. So I had visual, that? broke too late. CN51 is where he got to. Well done. Uh, so mine was the first run, and it wasn't very good. Fire was a titchy bit better. Flies was a little bit better. Uh, Dark did the first, managed to complete it, and he did it by pure speed, speed, speed. A thousand knots, 
15,000 feet, something like that, and he just managed to get through. But the bad side is he had no fuel. Then Cannonball optimized even better, went even faster, 1,000 knots, 30,000 feet, and it was just out of the firing limits of all of the SAMs, and none of them could fire, so fine. Then Simba did it as per the real limits that the real guy had to do. Um, and he beat about 30 SAMs and got to see in 51, which is brilliant, but I could see them wearing him down. His response times were getting lower and lower every time a missile was fired at him, and there's only so much you can do before you're just freaking exhausted. I know it sounds silly, but it really does. So, so well done, everyone. There's no real winner here. There's just different ways of tackling the problem, and we've all learned a bit about how uh, 1960 SAMs work as well. Um, any feedback from you lot? They got me all sweaty, hot, hmm. and bothered. <laughs> Either that or my wife turned the air conditioning off in the That's house. Absolutely wonderful feedback, guys. Simba got us all hot and bothered. You know, going high and fast, uh, that's that gets you through, but, you know, dodging them, that's that's real sexy oh, yeah. right there. And a really important thing is to say, again, it wouldn't work on bigger SAMs, S300s, S400s, Patriot, that just would not work. That will follow you, they'll follow you up to space. All right, viewers, I hope you enjoyed them, and bye-bye.